I know, I know you do a lot of installation pieces, but this time you chose to have paintings. Yeah, this time I chose to have paintings. I feel like I can't do installations like every time. It's just so much work. I just have a lot of canvas and I have oil paint. And yeah, these are the five paintings that um, I've come up with. I identify as a multidisciplinary conceptual artist. So I guess multidisciplinary is big for me because I feel like I guess if I were to just say I'm a painter, it kind of boxes me up when I just want to say I'm multidisciplinary. So I have a toolbox, I have various skills, and I can use them all whenever I want, whenever I feel like, oh, I'm going to paint, I'm going to express myself this way today. I take a lot of pictures recently. I love nature photography, but also I'm expanding out of my shell, and I've been taking portraits also of people. I enjoy documentary photography and capturing people naturally. I, de I generally don't pose people, but I could. So there's photography and painting, installations has been something big recently. Honestly, it's because of BWAC that I've been able to explore this installation space because I, I don't have the space. So having a space here creates this vision and opportunity for me within my art to do the installation. So there's that. And I even make crafts and I draw. I like doing everything. Also, I've done performance art, performance art recently with my friend Caitlin Copenhaver. She was a photographer. And I would do the performance, and it was awesome. We did that for. Want to talk about some of the writing that you have on these paintings? How do they relate to? They. It seems like they're a lot about your feelings. Yeah, a lot of my work is about my feelings. I think a lot of my art is like a an expression of like anxiety or depression or anything like that. It's a way for me to express myself or to release any like feelings I have. It really helps actually. So a lot of the work. I mean. The text, I incorporate it into my work, and I don't care. I put the words there, and it works for me. Because you're feeling them at the time. Yeah. I'm, I'm loving the, uh, the citrus and the Xanax. Thank you. <laughs> I like making grocery lists, and like Xanax was on one of my grocery lists, so I just put that there on this painting. And I like this painting. It's kind of more subtle than my other ones. The color palette is different from the other four. From the other four, for yeah. sure. It's a little more subdued. And can you talk a little bit about I'm Melting? Uh, I didn't need to come up with a name for that one, so I just chose I'm Melting. But honestly, I guess if you look at it, all the, like, the colors are bleeding into themselves a little bit. And I even have like part of my face is not there, like the other eye. I just like, blurred it out, so that kind of looks like it's melting, I guess. And Oh God, you want to talk about this a little bit? Yeah, this one is just like, and again, it's my anxiety. So a lot of my anxiety like that I experience is like, I'm scared, I don't know what to do. It's those, those words that you get from your anxiety. But if you have anxiety, it's this fear of the unknown. So that's what I mean when I'm saying like, I'm so scared or I don't know or something like that. Have you, have you talked about visitors and how they're, your paintings make them feel? When I make my work, I don't make it with the audience. And if you enjoy hearing what people say, it's interesting to have get to get feedback. Now your installations, they're really involved. So you must come here like days ahead of installation to put them together. I wish I could, but honestly, I have come here and like I'll do it the whole day. I'll be here at like 11 a.m. until like 8 or 9. You plan how they're going to look um, detail by detail or do you or is is the installation the process no the process is definitely how it, the process is a big part of my work um i don't i don't have a set in my mind i just start creating you've been a member here at BWAC for how long about a year i joined actually i joined last year we had our show i think it was august 15th i remember it was the wide open show and then after that alicia was like oh you know we were accepting new members I'm like, oh really great and then so i joined and it was so great i'm so happy i joined so yeah it's been one year and what do you feel like you get out of being a member here i get so much i love it so much uh one of the biggest things I get out of being a member here is the community. I've made so many friends, so many artist friends who I can speak about art um, with and I can get feedback or I get inspired by their work or it even helps me on my artist journey, seeing other people's artwork or hearing about their process or making connections. I actually, because of BWAC, I've made like 
connection within the art world, and that's been so amazing for me. But before I back, I finished school, I went to art school, and that was a nice community of like, artists, but then it ends, and then you have to make it on your own, you know, I need to make it into show, it helps me be able to show the work that I want to show, or just show my work in general. It's, it's so great having Big Black. Well, thanks so much, Nora, for spending some time with us, and thanks so much for talking about your work. Thank you. Thanks for having me.